Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for right around the 20th, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, okay? So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Three cups reversed. First card out. Five of cups reversed. Next card out. So we have beginning to see that there is a better option. We have somebody here that's been grieving, right? They've been grieving over a loss. Maybe it's a loss of friendship or a loss of a partnership. They have a lot of regrets, extreme regrets. Um, Tears, tears. I mean, there could, there's definitely some sadness here. There could be a termination. Maybe there's been a termination, a termination of a friendship or a termination of a relationship of some sort. Definitely emotional. I feel like there's some sort of emotions here, but beginning to realize that there's a better option. So I think that we have somebody here that is beginning. Oh, look at that. Seven of Cups options. So yes, somebody is beginning to realize, they're beginning to start to explore their other options. They've been, I'm gonna show it to you upright, they've been moping, they've been crying, oh my God, I've lost it, you know. There's been some prolonged grief here, maybe over a third party situation, maybe somebody couldn't choose, you know, they were having a hard time accepting a loss or, you know, uh, moving on from something. Um, I feel though that we do have somebody here that, that is beginning to realize, it's like they're beginning to realize, you know, that there is a better option here and they are thinking about their options. There's obviously been some sort of termination or a lack of emotional growth with the Three of Cups reversed. There's been um, a lack of emotional content and I think that somebody has terminated some sort of relationship because of uh, maybe no reciprocation or something like that um, or because there was another person involved. There could be some sadness here. I mean, I'm just being honest. There could be extremes in reverse, extreme sadness. I mean, the Three of Cups reversed is no reunion. It's not happy. It's not joyful, you know. Um, not happy about a separation, and and uh, and I think somebody's not happy because they were focused on something else. It's hard to explain. Six reluctant to move on. Six of Swords reversed. Somebody has been reluctant to take a new approach. They've been stuck. They've been troubled. They've been they've been stuck in a in a place where, you know, there's been a lot of waves, there's been a lot of turbulence, there's been a lot of emotional discontent. And I feel like they've been refusing, really refusing to cut, take a new approach and, and it's caused them a lot of trouble. There's trouble. The Six of Swords reversed is trouble. It's like in trouble. We may even have a relationship that is in trouble because of a third party or because there's no movement or because somebody is refusing to realize them as an option. Ooh, unexpected choice in love. So this is definitely making a choice between two options. This is a soulmate connection right here, okay? It is, it's a soulmate connection. These two people obviously have a deep spiritual connection. So I feel like, I mean, this is a union that is very, very compatible. Two people being brought together by, you know, this angel. An angel is bringing two people together that are very, very compatible with each other. Um, this is a match made in heaven. This is meant to be. Um, everything happens for a reason. 
It's a perfect union with that lover's card. So we do have a perfect match here. I feel like these two people are going to be deepening a bond. After, you know, there's been some sort of lack of movement. And I feel like there's been a lack of movement because of maybe some previous grief or a previous separation or... Well, obviously that's what it is two of swords i feel like there's there was another option same with the lovers there's all with the lovers is two options and this is two options somebody was struggling with a choice okay it's like they were given an opportunity they were given an opportunity but they already had one you know because they already had something in their hands they already had a uh, an option in their hands but then they were given another one so they were struggling with the choice now do I do I hold on to the one I got or do I choose the one that I was just given so I, I feel like we have somebody here that has really been struggling with a choice they've probably been grieving over you know another situation where they were terminated or, or rejected you know um, and now they're at a point where you know they're feeling very discontent and they're feeling at a loss and they're feeling in some sort of, you know, they're feeling really unhappy and sad over, you know, not being accepted by the other one and pushing away the other one because they were grieving over the previous loss. I know that probably didn't come out right, but I think you got it. Anyhow, um, the Two of Swords is really struggling with a choice, you know, I already had one that I was hanging on to, but now I've got another one. What do I do? What do I do? And I think that this person is beginning to see that the other one with the five of cups reversed is a good option. You know, they're beginning to see that this is the better option. You know, there's what's, what's the sense of being stuck in a place where there's no happiness, where there's no reciprocation, where there's another person involved and, you know, it's causing a lot of heartache, it's causing a lot of grief. What's the sense in that? So I do believe we have somebody here that is going through the thoughts in their head. They've probably been blocking their emotions, but right now their emotions may be at an all-time high because I feel like the emotions, it's, it's very emotional. It's like, you know, I don't want to lose this opportunity. I don't want to lose this opportunity, but this is a difficult, painful, stressful decision. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is in the process of making a, a painful, stressful decision. And it may require them to part ways from friends or family or a relationship that has been causing them a lot of sadness and grief that they were hoping that they could eventually, you know, have a reunion with or that the happiness would come and this trouble would dissipate. You know, it's like that they, that's what they were hoping for. But it's, you know, I think that I think that we have an individual that is really in their thoughts over, you know, another option. Six of Cups reverse, clinging to the past. Somebody has been clinging to the past. They have. And they've been, I mean, we have these two sixes reverse, like going backwards. Sixes are supposed to be going in towards peace and harmony. But in reverse, we have somebody here that is in a very troubling situation where they're not getting the peace and the harmony and the love and the compassion and the happiness that they deserve. And they're clinging though, but they're clinging. Somebody is clinging to the past. They are, they're clinging to it. But the Six of Cups reversed is, it can be packing up and leaving home. It can be, it's like, it can be leaving the past behind. And it looks like it's the past hurts behind. But, but the Six of Swords reverse is struggling, really struggling to leave the past behind, really struggling to make that move. But there is definitely another option here that has been presented.
but the decision will need to be made to part ways with the past because once you step forward into that new existence you can't go back and that's why the decision is so difficult Queen of Wands reverse could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sagittarius Oh, we have the lovers again an unexpected somebody has been presented with a new lover that's exactly what this is they have been presented with a new lover this is a choice between two lovers it's a choice between the now and the past this is a perfect match this is what you asked for you have to find your mental strength six of swords reversed next to the queen of wands reversed somebody needs to find their mental strength to allow themselves to be happy it's like and, and it's like I don't want to it's like it's like I've lived in this trouble so long that this is all I know there's a lack of confidence here there's a lack of courage we have somebody here that has been depleted I mean the Queen of Wands reverse that is depleted and there's there's another person here there is definitely another person here another man or another woman there's no doubt about it We have somebody here that is scared. They are scared to move on. They are. Queen of Wands in reverse is fear. It's fear. Scared to take action. Fear. Fear of what? Fear of rejection? Fear of uh, not being accepted? Fear. Fear. Fear of it not working out? cowardly behavior we got a coward here and just being honest fear of giving up control fear of losing control we do have a deep spiritual connection here somebody has been put in front of their soulmate their soulmate is right in front of them. And it's like they're rejecting it. They're rejecting it, but they're beginning to realize something with that Five of Cups reverse that is beginning to realize that, you know, I might have to separate. I got to separate. I got to separate. There's no emotional growth here. There's no happiness here, but torn. Torn. Torn between two lovers. Torn between two options. The past and the present. Weak. Queen of Wands in reverse is weak. Fearful. Hmm. Five of Wands reversed. Ten of Cups in the future. King of Cups in reversed. King of Swords in reverse. We have a couple of options here, which we already knew. Six of Pentacles reversed. Somebody hasn't been getting what they deserve. It's time for a change. It's time to get what you deserve. It's time to blend, to create harmony. This is what you asked for. It's time to accept and allow and go with the flow. You know, don't, don't fight change. This comes after the death card. I think we have somebody here that is restricting themselves. It feels like they're restricting themselves from getting what they deserve. Six pentacles reversed. They're very afraid of rejection, extremely afraid of rejection. So they're playing it safe. Emotions are definitely all over the place. 
Um, somebody is blocking their feelings, they're blocking their emotions, they're detaching themselves emotionally. This is like cold, it's like cold hearted, blocking their heart, blocking their emotions, fighting it, fighting, fighting their feelings. Somebody is fighting their feelings, blocking their feelings. I do believe that we have somebody here that is very scared of rejection, but I feel like they are dreaming of happiness. They're dreaming of it. They see spiritual uh, fulfillment. They see uh, emotional fulfillment. They see an opportunity for happiness. They see it. They see it. But they may have to make a decision, and it's a hard one. It is a very hard decision to reject somebody that doesn't respect them. Somebody is dealing with, the, with an individual that doesn't respect them, that doesn't um, give to them, that abuses them um, mentally, verbally, forcefully. Uh, controls them. Somebody has allowed another person to control them. But it's all a mind game. It's all a mind game. It's kind of like you have the power to control your own mind. Nobody else does. You can, you can let them think that they controlled you or you can, you can give them that power or you can take it away. It feels like we have some, we have a conflict here. We have a conflict. I feel like this is somebody that is battling, they're battling with their heart, they're battling with their feelings, they're going back and forth between the past and the present, you know, the past and what they have right in front of them. There's a lot of fear of being rejected, there's a lot of fear of not being accepted, but there will be acceptance because this is acceptance. We also have somebody here that has not been honest with themselves. There's been some sort of abuse of power here and they have allowed somebody to abuse them. They have allowed somebody to mentally abuse them, to control them. When you have the power to take that, that power away at any moment, at any moment, So anyway, I feel I feel like we have somebody here that is definitely going to be making a decision, but there's some sort of rejection here. It's like we have three sixes. All three of them are reversed. The lovers was a six as well. So, the, the, but that one was upright twice. So we have we have somebody here that has an opportunity for peace and harmony in that lovers card. They have an opportunity for a perfect match. This is a perfect union. This is, this is what you've asked for. This is a dream come true. This person is right in front of you. But with these three sixes reversed, this is I refuse to move on. I refuse to allow it. I refuse to move forward. We have somebody here that is causing their own mental turmoil. They're, they're causing their own mental anguish. They're causing their own deprivation. You know, they're, they're, they're choosing not to get what they deserve. They're choosing to stay stuck. They're choosing to not receive because they have given their power and control away to an individual that doesn't respect them and doesn't give them anything but fear. But there is a deep spiritual connection here if you can if you can allow it with that temperance card that is allow it's allow it's 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 do whatever it takes to create that harmony in your life death 
comes before the temperance card, except that something ended for a reason, because temperance is a card of purpose and reason, accept it, accept it. And I do feel like this is acceptance. I feel like we have somebody here that is on the verge of a new life, right? Because after death is a new life, which is basically right here. Accepting that something is over and going with the flow, allowing and creating harmony by accepting. That'll bring you peace. And there is peace in the Ten of Cups, which is upright. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be uh, managing their feelings. They're going to be, it's almost like cooperating. They're going to be cooperating. They're going to be allowing. They're going to be accepting. They're going to be taking a chance, testing the waters. Swords reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Four of Swords, swords reversed. Extremely tired, exhausted, fed up, sick, sick of waiting, sick of it, sick of it, sick of it, sick of it. I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of this battle. I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of no communication. I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of giving my power away. I'm sick of it. beginning to realize is another option. Somebody may be cutting somebody out. They may be uh, shutting down. They may be shutting somebody down. They may be, uh, there could be a breakup on the horizon, just being honest. Somebody may be breaking up with somebody that they are not compatible with. Separating. There's no union. There's no equality. There's no reciprocation. This is unrequited love. Going no contact. Ace of Swords reverse. Stopping communication. Shutting down emotionally. Shutting. Detaching. Detaching from somebody that uh, isn't giving them anything. Choosing another option. There's another option here. Queen of Wands reverse that is definitely afraid though. Very, very afraid. And we may have somebody here that tried to scare somebody, you know, tried to scare them with their words or I'm so powerful. It's a mind game. Somebody has tried to force something. King of Cups reverse, that is emotions all over the place, unable to master emotions. We have somebody here that is needing to definitely ground themselves. They need to be logical. They need to stop giving to a relationship that isn't giving to them and give to one that will. Somebody's also going to be receiving some challenging information from somebody. This this is like it's emotional. It's it's challenging emotional information. Um, maybe somebody is, has decided to uh, give up, you know, they're giving up. They're taking something away. The 6 of pentacles reverse is a takeaway. We, there's definitely an abuse of power here as well. Somebody has abused their power over another person and they've made that person think that they have control. Nobody has control over you. 
That's a mind game. And it is a game. Five of Wands, that's a game. Anyhow, I do feel like there's a separation here because I feel like there's another option. I feel like there's a, I feel like there's a, there's a, um, either a breakup or a split. There could be an argument. There could definitely be an argument here. There definitely could. We may have somebody here that is angry. The Queen of Wands reversed next to the Five of Wands. This could be all out war. I'm so sick of fighting. I'm so sick of it. We definitely have somebody here that is sick of fighting. They're tired. They're fed up. They're exhausted. And they are ready for a change. And they're ready for happiness. They are. And I feel like there's I feel like there's gonna be some sort of Feels like it's an argument or something. And I feel this ends a relationship. Or it could just be information that comes. It could be information that comes that. Moves somebody in a new direction. But I'm not sure about that. Six of Pentacles, three sixes reversed. That is extremely stuck. Extremely. But there's no reciprocation. There's no love. There's trouble. It's trouble. There's waves. There's turbulence. There's fighting. I mean, come on now. How weak can you be? Queen of Cups. Self-love is needed. Follow your heart. Follow your gut. Express your feelings. Open your heart. Follow your heart. We have a lover here. Somebody that is emotionally available. That is has a lot of love to offer. This is the person that you asked for. This is your dream come true. This is heaven sent. This is a wish being granted. This is what you asked for. This is your unexpected help that has arrived. This is a blessing. This is a star. This is, this is beautiful. This is what you asked for. You need to be honest with yourself and follow your heart. Somebody is going to be receiving um, a message of love. It may have something to do with a rejection as well. Somebody may say, you know, I've let that go or I've, I've let that person go or I've made my decision or something like that. Good luck. 